The next panel discussion is decoding the content puzzle, formats, fiction, non-fiction, TV+, OTT, remakes, and adaptations. The session delves into the changing landscape of TV and OTT platforms by looking at different content formats like fiction, non-fiction, and film. It investigates how storytelling changes to fit new mediums and tastes through remakes, adaptations, and so on. I would like to invite the panel on the stage, Rishi Negi, Group Chief Operating Officer, Bani J Asia and Ennamol Shine India. Fazila Alana, Managing Director, Soul Productions. Amok Dusad, Head Content, Amazon Mini TV. Arjun Singh Baran, Founder, Producer, Creator, G Seams. I like the spirit you all have come back with after lunch. That's good. Give them a big round of applause. And the session chair is none other than Mr. Anil N M Vanwari, Founder, Chairman, and Editor in Chief, Indian Television dot com group. Over to you, Anil sir. All right, we have got a wonderful panel here. Uh, let's get the best out of them. I'll leave some time for questions, so you guys are. Better ask some intelligent questions or unintelligent ones also, because it's creativity. It's all about creativity. Okay, guys. So tell us what's going on in the format side of the business. Each one of y'all. I'll begin with Rishi. I think the format uh, business is really doing well for us. Uh, I think we have some of our ten poles going across multiple languages. We have Big Brother, which we produce, uh, Big Boss in Hindi and five other languages. We have Master Chef that we've just uh, finished Hindi, Tamil, and Telugu. Uh, Fear Factor on the scripted side, The Night Manager, uh, Trial. So I think the format business is uh, doing well. Uh, it's only how you adapt the format and make it relevant to the platform or the broadcaster that you're making it for. So I think there's always a demand for a good format. Fuzz, sorry, I call a fuzz. I can't call a fuzzila. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. Uh, no, no. I, I'm with Rishi. I think it's doing pretty decently right now. I think nonfiction is seeing quite a lot of traction uh, across uh, platforms. Uh, we, for one, are producing, uh, co-producing uh, the Great Indian. Uh, we'll come show, to that later. Okay. Uh, which we are also in the process of uh, uh, making a show for Amazon Prime Video in the nonfiction genre and uh, working with some TV channels as well on the same. So I think uh, it's got a decent amount of traction. Formats is not only about non-fiction, it's also about fiction as well. So Saul as a company so far has not done any formats in the fiction space. We produce more originals in the fiction space. Uh, but at the moment, we are actually co-developing two formats with someone in the in fiction, the fiction space. space. Excellent. Yes. At last, there's a transformation happening yes. after trying so long. No, no. So, yeah, the opportunities also have to be there and there was a right opportunity with the right kind of shows, which we thought suited us well. Having said that, we've done uh, a couple of formats you did with, a Disney with applause. Fo you, you did a Disney one also. No, we've back. done with applause. We've done two. One is called Udan Patola is, 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 and was on uh, Amazon, is on Amazon Mini. And the other one is called Unreal, which is in post right now, which will come on air soon. Fantastic. So, yes. so thank you for giving them the opportunity. Okay, your perception. Uh, I would probably from a platform perspective just give a different uh, nuance to this. The way we would uh, think at Amazon about uh, it's we're essentially creating a service which customers should enjoy, engage with those content and therefore whether it's a format or it's an original story or it's first time idea, in, in that sense we are not really inclined in one way or the other. It's really the merit of the idea. If that format we believe will is something that will work for our customers and we believe can be adapted in a way that our customers in India will enjoy it. We'll go ahead and do that. But uh, if, if the question is about uh, format versus uh, originals, I, we would rather go customer backwards and see if the story, whether it's unscripted format in a scripted format or in unscripted format, if you believe it can be contextualized well for us, we could do that. Uh, so we've so far, uh, they, 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 and there are equal conversations on, on format adaptations as well as uh, originals, but in terms of unscripted, just to 
highlight two of our uh, uh, big unscripted shows. One of them is an original IP uh, called Hip Hop India, which is a dance reality just focused only on hip hop as a, as a dance form. And, and Playground is something that we partnered with Rusk with, which is a captive reality with gamers in, which is sort of a format that comes in because we work with uh, Rusk and it's, it's their IP. You've been uh, very, very associ well associated in the past with a lot of formats. So, what, have, what's your perspective? We have been doing a lot of fiction shows, okay, between Karthik and me at G Seems. The last thing that just came out was Tali, which had Sushmita Sain in it. Before that, we did something uh, called Rafu Chakkar, which was for Geo, which is there. Before that, we did something called Samantha Season 1 and 2. We did Raktanchal. So, in the fiction format, I think there's a lot of work which is happening. So, formats business is looking well. Does everyone agree or no? Yes. As a whole, can you put up your hands? Yes. Yes. Only 35%, but it sounds like a, can I, is everyone agreeing or no? Yes. Okay, that's a louder. So, that's one thing we've settled that the formats and this formats business are doing well. But, you know, you're going to see a lot more competition coming with it, all three media coming in with its formats. You've got a lot of co-productions happening now globally and domestically. So how is that side of the business doing? I, I don't see that as a competition. I think it's, it's about, uh, you know, we've done a lot of third-party formats and we've produced, it's not only that we produce Endemol or J formats, we've produced formats from all three media, we've produced formats from ITV. We've pro so we work across wherever we like the story. And finally, whoever comes in looks for somebody who knows the market who can adapt your story. And like what Amok said, you have to contextualize the story to India. Uh, I think if you look at Arya, uh, it's from a Dutch show of ours called Penosa. Now, contextualizing it to Arya, placing it there, that's what makes it a success, right? So, uh, I think more the merrier. Yeah, but we've had formats, local formats have been far and few between which have traveled. Why is that? I mean, don't we understand Bibles, don't we understand how to create a f format which could travel, Fuzz and uh, uh, Rishi? I think the biggest challenge that we have is whenever, I mean, Fazila will concur with me on this, is that whenever you create a new format, whether scripted or unscripted, uh, finally the IP lands with the platform or, or the broadcaster. So we, as producers, really don't have rights to take it across the globe. It's more for the broadcaster or the platform to do that. Yeah, for years, like, we were after Stark, why is Nach Balay being sold? abroad. I mean, it's a great format. Why aren't you selling it? But they, at that time, they had other interests. They were not, so we don't own the IP and that becomes a challenge in trying to push a format. I think it would be all our dreams to see a Indian format uh, be able to travel the way a millionaire has or a, or a Dancing with the Stars has uh, internationally. I think that would really uh, put India into the non-fiction map, which it isn't right now internationally. Amog, you as a platform, buy the, buy the show, and then you'll put it on your platform. What's the future? Because at the end of the day, you know, let's say you'll have a two-year run where there'll be interest. Then what happens with the show? Can, it, can you all use it to travel abroad? Can you all resell the uh, format license? Or is it going to just stay on the shelf or in your uh, catalog? I think uh, for uh, mini TV... Especially the playground. Could travel. Can Rusk Media license it? It is, it, for specifically that show, it's a licensed IP, so we are not the owner of those okay, IPs. Okay, so Russ so. can license it. Yeah, so I'm just saying for example, yeah. So I, I would just probably bring the discussion back, at least from a platform standpoint, it always ends up becoming customer first way of thinking. So if, if we like a book, uh, like, uh, like Rishi mentioned, we're just doing a, a fiction show, which is adaptation of a book by No O'Neill, uh, which is yet to come out, but the, but the script was in place. So it, it's, uh, while we... We believe that story will resonate with audiences and that's the first intention with which going out, not because it's, it's a format and it has globally worked. Obviously, it hedges your, risk, uh, your uh, bet, but just because it has traveled the world doesn't mean it will work. It will still have to test with Indian audiences, it has to be contextualized. So, in our uh, scripted lineup, there are a bunch of shows which are actually adaptations of popular uh, literature, fiction. Uh, shows, uh, 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 books by young fiction writers which are being adapted, I can at least recall. Dehati Larke was the other one, 
which came on the service last year was from adaptation of a book which on on pratilipi so i would i would from a platform standpoint probably our context is more we want to build engagement we want to delight customers with the content that we want to program and whenever stories come via formats or as individual writers come and reach out to us the lens is really whether is there something compelling for our customers no, no, you there. didn't answer my so, question so so anil so i no, want to just say so therein lies the problem right because as ip owners their interests are different they're not interested in pushing this ip internationally they are interested in their audience at home whereas if the producer kept the ip our interest would be much wider because our upside would be much wider for them it's not that important and therefore things have not actually traveled so you skip my question and you answer the question from your perspective will it at some stage netflix has moved on to fast channels in the future they probably will get on you all guys will get on to fast at some stage with your catalog because you're going to run out of there are there are shows which will be will run their course and then nobody will want to watch them or they'll stay and you'll have long tail watching them so what happens to those shows which are domestically developed which could then be licensed internationally and remade internationally we are taking old content turkish content and we are remaking it in india we are taking korean shows so why can't we do the same with indian shows some of your successful shows which you could have bought all the rights for including remake including all rights so there are two parts to uh, your question first specifically from a amazon mini tv perspective we are a fast growing service so as our distribution continues to expand the relevance of all that we have programmed so far so the shelf life continues to be extremely active we still have consumers who uh, new customers who come in uh, and watch physics wala which is something that we are program year and a half back or so, you know shows that uh, un patola like she she mentioned some of our so because it's a growing service and the footprint is expanding and we are continuously getting new and new customers so uh, library continues to be a relevant part of our uh, per play uh, what we are seeing huge traction uh, is is on uh, not so much on adapting international format but actually localizing them as is no what i'm saying is taking indian formats globally giving it back to the producer and letting the guy go and license it at some stage i think uh, uh, anil what happens is that for a broadcaster uh, i'm talking more from a broadcaster perspective yeah. is that they do on licensing money like for big tent pole properties syndication is all that they do but obviously like fazila is no, saying remake i'm saying remaking i don't think that lies in their order of priority to monetize right no, i Because understand that but can it change should it change because then there's another monetization stream shadhat tiwari kept some uh, of his of his uh, rights with him which allowed him to go and resell it globally i think that will become more of a question for us is when we start thinking differently and uh, not making shows only when they are commissioned right like how an applause works on a studio model where they retain an ip so uh, i think that change will happen at some point of time i've been hearing this forever i know it's a money thing right anil so <laughs> it's also a risk that the producer takes So, for example, G C M owns a lot of I P S, but all the I P S that we own are the movies that we have produced. So, the entire risk of producing the entire movie was ours, where we took that risk. On a Friday, we are waiting and seeing how it's going. So, so why aren't your guys willing to take the risk? Which is what I think even Applause is doing. They're taking the risk. Yeah, I think, you, I think that will be a really fundamental shift. And currently, the way most of the commissioning also happens in the market. is largely where the broadcaster is able to retain the ip rights that becomes very very important for them i think it'll it'll require some shift especially on the broadcast side on no on also the platform, platform side, side we have seen some traction uh, uh where applause has done it like I, like yeah. i said applause has taken that risk and done that but it's it's about fundamentally looking at your business differently yeah and you will need investors with deep pockets like applause has yeah but you've had mothik tolia who's going to raise capital why aren't all guys raising capital we are just lazy <laughs> unambitious you're serious then why are you making shows for everyone else I think uh, I think Anil, what happens is that if you look at purely from our perspective, right? Uh, when you're doing a show and and everybody's been working on this model for the longest possible time, right? Uh, and risk taking 
or to move in that direction re will require a lot of capital. Right? No, is that Pinto in that go, direction? Oh, is that Pinto from global see, agency? See, what's happened is during COVID, when there was a real uptake on content, a lot of producers have taken that risk. And there's a lot of unsold inventory also which is lying in the market, which is a known truth. I agree. So I but, think but they produce shit. Honestly, that's, some of the producers. That, see, that's the issue. That that's the reason people are not willing to go full fledged and take that risk. Okay. So now we are seeing, you know, for a long time there was the eight episode, twelve episode uh, kind of format which was coming into play. Now we are having longer running episodes. Rising Ani was the Rising Ani as set the trend. I was sitting down with the head of a uh, of a of a platform and he told me, listen, Rising Ani has set the benchmark. We all need shows which travel like that, 100 episodes, 60 episodes, 80 episodes. So is that a trend which is here to stay in the fiction genre? Yes, I think so. I think that is a trend that uh, most OTTs are uh, getting on to. I think uh, um, Amog will talk more from a platform perspective. But from what we producers are getting in terms of briefs from various OTTs as well, yes, the. TV plus, as it is called, 50 episodes to 60 episodes, it's the way forward. Come on, you guys are supposed so, to chat, not I. Uh, so I think broadly what's happening is, and uh, actually amongst all of us, Amog is the right person to answer this. Th uh, the reason they're looking at daily drops or episodes coming every day is so that they can get the consumer coming back on a daily basis. Uh, when we produce Master Chef uh, for Sony Live, uh, the idea was that uh, uh, the business had wanted a drop every day. So we went on for nearly 42, 43 episodes. So this gives him a longer coverage. So if I have come in day one to watch MasterChef, I will definitely come in day two. I might not come in at eight o'clock when the episodes drop drops, but I will come during the day. So I think I definitely see this trend, uh, trend because today you are fighting not only amongst OTTs, you are fighting with reels, right? Uh, you're trying to take away the consumer who's just flipping content on his uh, uh, the, the fingers and you want to bring him back. So give him something he likes and give him for a longer period on a daily drop or something like that. So he, he actually should be working for you, not you for him. I will yeah, actually yeah. probably give a, a different uh, slant to this conversation. I think there was a time when obviously we've all seen two decades of television where were dailies and weeklies and it has sustained not only in India, at least weeklies is the way uh, US used to program and some of the iconic shows have come in that format. Uh, my limited understanding is that the playbook on programming on digital is, is yet to get finalized. And as we are getting into, because it's a very, very different way of consumption. Like the TV, especially in India with 95, 96% being single TV homes, the content on TV and the use case of audiovisual was living room devices and people watching it along with family. Now you, everybody now, or a large chunk of Indian population now have the TV in their pocket in form of phones and the use occasion has become personal, which has influenced the kind of stories we are able to tell now. Uh, for example, while we, while on mini we say, uh, we, we focus, uh, you know, sharply between 18 to 34 as our core demographic. But there are multiple life stages within that, right? Uh, uh, the life stage or the anxieties of a first-time college goer to somebody who's just getting into the first job or somebody who's just getting into uh, uh, marriage are, are vastly different. But digital is really, at least digital is able to give you that capability to create sharp programming, right? So you would see... For example, you will see school dramas on my service, on our service, you will see uh, college dramas, you will see uh, slightly mature romance of where protagonists are in late 20s. And you, so that's one part of how digital has changed. The other part is the time of consumption and when people are choosing. So it's no more I come on TV and the dinner time is aligned with television viewing. And that habit with digital is very, very different because people are consuming through the day in different while commuting to college by late in the night on their own. So my uh, limited submission is that playbook is, is coming in. Uh, the way we look at uh, some of our stories uh, is also not every story can be extended to 40, 50, 100 episodes. So you can't have format drive, you can't have the carriage drive the horse. So our assessment, we format, we have shows which are four episodes, shows which are 12 episodes, 20 episodes, and 40 episodes. 
primarily because as a team we believe it is needs to be story first and it can't be ye uh, story achhi lag rahi par paanch chhe episode nahi chalega iske 50 kar do uh, we honestly don't operate like that we look at the story first if we believe there is something or we can have a gripping uh, uh show in eight episodes we would go for example a show on our service called slum golf for originally in the development was we developed as a daily we thought we could do a 25 30 episode but during the development we realized that probably it will be much more gripping narrative if we stick to a seven eight episode format and that's how the service it has came it came out as binge it came out as an eight episode uh, because while developing we realized to do the justice to the story and not get distracted we we don't necessarily need it to go to 25 30 so while there is a there, there is a, this is the second layer that i spoke of which is the creative part and third is also the economics of it obviously long formats uh, make production lot more efficient and therefore in in from a business standpoint it makes a lot of sense if you are able to create strong long running formats we did campus beats last year which is a 30 episode uh, uh, format Uh, Bani J uh, had produced it. Palki was uh, show running it, uh, and it did very well on the service. And we could actually we shot we wrote all the episodes together, and we shot all of them together, thereby bringing in efficiency in content creation. And as the play book gets evolve uh, evolves into dailies and weeklies and binge drops, uh, probably we'll know better. But to my limited understanding, the jury is out. I don't think we really know. uh whether it is binge whether people will go back to daily habits or not we don't know that it used to happen in tv days but to expect today in today's day and age for people to wait for an episode every day to watch probably is something that is yet to be get proven so there's a contrast between what the broadcasters think of their streaming platforms and what a streaming platform purely thinks of a streaming platform so most of the broadcasters are thinking television plus you're not thinking television plus per se it depends on the what the story demands like you said totally i we we not we are keen like i said there is an economic benefit that comes in if you are able to crack a story which is long format but just because of that you can't make a eight episode a story no no no, no i agree but you select stories which are longer running yes you yes. select stories which are longer running so you get economics you're not looking at that we are we are for programming in all formats but it is not specifically making one for the other that's why i said it's not even like six formats six episode and 40 we have shows which are 12 episodes and 50 episodes 15 episodes so yeah, i i get what you're saying so there's a perception that streaming audiences are today the individual audience is not that big password sharing is happening families are watching a lot more content the tv set is going to be the consumption medium not so much it's a mobile phone also but it's a tv segment which is going to be pushing it because tv is very strong in india because of which they are going towards this tv plus model if i'm correct i yeah. would probably humbly disagree i i don't think the data speaks otherwise obviously connected tv is is an upcoming uh, platform but to compare it with mobile mobile is multiple times bigger and i think for a service like uh, mini tv which is uh which is free and really is set up to be uh create a mass <coughs> engagement platform for advertisers and customers i think we'll in uh, mobile single screen viewing will continue to be hugely relevant while we are available on prime and we are available on fire tv and we obviously are uh, on uh, our android app on uh, android tv is also there when we do get a lot of traction but for a for a award service i think in in a country like india mobile will continue to be a biggest so fast channels are a no no according to you no oh, so i i think uh, i think you disagree with him i'm saying you're, CTV you're, is it's possible for you to disagree despite you being the producer <laughs> and he being the platform you can disagree with him uh, i really don't want to have couple of pitches <laughs> lying with him right yeah, now yeah so. my bap <laughs> <laughs> but i think the ctv world is It's changing it's a panel discussion and it's thoughts it's ideas so please disagree So I think that uh, the CTV world is really evolving very fast in India, and uh, I think connected TV is going to change. And there are a lot of uh, efforts that are happening across where technology is being built, where even old t- televisions are getting becoming smart televisions. And I think once that happens, family viewing will come back, and you will end up making a lot of content which is which is more. family viewing oriented right you don't want to be watching 
uh, a show at home and then… With bad words in it. Yeah. But in fact, that is the big punt that Netflix took with Kapil. Correct. And that was their aim. To I get to families we'll to back. We'll come to it. We'll come to no, it. no, I'm just talking about it from a perspective Spectrum. of family yeah. viewing. Not about whether, you know, it's we'll a, come you come to that later. Yeah. But from a point of view is to bring the family back to one TV screen was also that, that was part of the agenda. You want to add something to all this? Or should I move on to the next one? I'm fine if you want to add something. See, I think every story, okay, has their limitations, okay? And there are some stories which can go on, I think, 250 episodes and 100 episodes. There are some stories which are short, okay, where you finish it in six episodes, which are there. There are some stories, like, for example, we have taken an adaptation of a book called Samantar, okay? We knew that we can only make it into two parts. So we made that into two parts. There were a lot of people, because most of the Maharashtrians have read that book. And most of them saw it to see how have we made this. You know, are they going to do a jo good job or no? So, the thing is… Ki what did they had, say? They loved it. Okay. Samantar was a big hit, which we did. The thing is, and they wanted a part three, but there was no part three. The story ended there. You should have written it. I was about <laughs> to say that. We did that in Malaysia when I was working in UTV when I was this small. Uh, uh, we did Pride and Prejudice and it did so well that we had to write the story onwards. Even Jane Austen didn't know what we were doing. <laughs> there was a lot of demand for us, but we've not done it. Probably we'll do it now. <laughs> we should. Yeah. Great. So first now, you've got to let the cat out of the bag. There's a perception that the great Indian couple show, which came from the great Indian comedy show, no, it came from the, the comedy. Yeah. The Kapil Sharma show. And before that, comedy nights with Kapil. No, yes. but I remember the great Indian comedy show. No, that is a completely different format. I, uh, no, I mean. I'm not saying format, I'm saying title. Uh, no, ha, huh, title, title, whatever. I didn't no. mean the format. There's a perception that it's, it's been a dud. I, I know you'll disagree. No, no, so th there are reasons why I'll disagree. It's not that I'm just disagreeing because I'm part of the show. There are two, three things that one should know. A, that the first season of The Couple Show was always commissioned for 13 episodes. It was always a 13 episode commission. Uh, the show, per se, has, is the only Indian show so far to have trended globally for four weeks non-stop. The head of programming of Netflix has come and hosted a success party for the cast and crew uh, two weeks ago while she was here, and season two has already been commissioned. So, I think there was a misconception because we did a rap party, because a shoot ended. And when the artist put out that it's a rap, it's a rap, I think journalists who do a lot of research in this country... No, 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 they don't do research. ...got they, uh, very excited. No, hello. And you know how we are crabs in this country, right? We just like to pull everyone down in this country. So this that's is not my perception. Happened. I was quoted by the Times of India saying that it's the first season, the second season is coming. It's not my perception. No, no, I'm just saying, yeah. but we all know like how they do a lot much of research. research. I totally agree this, with you. I industry, totally agree with you. Uh, before they start printing stuff. I totally agree with you that they do a lot of research. They look at what the neighbor is doing and they copy it. A lot of them. Pretty I agree much with that. You. Yeah. See, Anil, if you get a second season, you're given a successful first season. I think that's. That's the reality. Okay, guys, now the platform is Thank yours. You. I've done my, uh, I have a lot of questions, but I'd rather have you all ask the questions now. Anybody having the courage to stand up and hold a mic and blurt out what they want to ask, un, you know, identify who you are and ask the question. Hi. Uh, I don't want you to hate me for this question, but uh, because… Identify of, yourself. Uh, my name is Anshul Agarwal. I'm a writer-director. I love the short film format. I love the anthology format. So while we are using the term format, format for long format, you know, many, many episodes. But what about those six films becoming one anthology? Uh, what about that one film, one short film? Is any platform, anyone still interested? Because I am hell interested in making them. And I am going to make them. So is... That's the passion, man. Make yeah, them, yeah, yeah. keep them coming. I'm, I'm going to produce them myself if I have to, if no one will give, it, uh, give me the money. But are there doors going to be open so that I can come in and show it? Show okay, the if they don't open the doors, you can take them globally. Release them at festivals. Yeah. Sabah Mumtaz did that with her film, yeah, which has yeah. won a lot of accolades. So, but yeah, because you guys are there, so that's why. 
जवाब दो अमोघ नो आई थिंक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ग्रेट टू सी योर करेज एंड पैशन फॉर वॉट यू वॉन्ट टू पुट टूगेदर एंड यू नो क्रिएट अ पीस ऑफ कॉन्टेंट दैट यू रियली स्ट्रांगली बिलीव इन आई थिंक वन प्रॉब्ली नीड्स टू अप्रिशिएट दैट एज अ एज अ प्लेटफॉर्म यू आर इन इन सम वेज थिंकिंग एवरी थिंग कस्टमर बैकवर्ड्स फॉर अ बिजनेस दैट यू सेट अप and the learnings that we have as a platform will really uh, empower us to take the next set of decisions so without going very specific into short film or anthology or 50 episodes or 100 episodes or 8 episodes i i think it's fair to expect a business which has been created to serve the customers and at least it is amazon for sure the first tenet of our uh, organization is being customer backwards and that really informs us about the kind of decisions we we make but i i think you have some great uh, brave risk taking uh, content producers here with me on the on the panel and probably they could be good partners to uh, you know help you put this together chalo answer one, one of you answer please just, producer pick over ball bounce hua i'll tell you something sure. this is your first step if you're making a short film okay everything is evolving the universe is evolving our world is evolving scripts are evolving everything is evolving this will be your first step into something very large so you should not stop if you think you want to make your first step is making a short film you don't know where it's going to lead you into so you should go ahead and make that first film tomorrow you might make a big large film anyone else bring it on you said right yeah yeah he's happily please reach out to us if you like the topic we think there's merit you never know where it goes email address sure it's it's fazila at solworld.net fazila at solworld.net rishi will you also say bring it on is rishi at banerjee i mean no, no, let him give the email address yeah see anshul the story is great uh, right now uh, there is no restriction on uh, long format or 30 episodes 12 episode anthology etc etc the stories have to be great and if if you have a great story you will find a buyer right email address uh you can email info me info at panichi.net it's uh, rishi.negi at endemolshine.co.in okay everyone got it no <laughs> <laughs> that was the idea i think from rishi okay what about your email address you're willing to uh, partner with people with, with young kids who got good ideas why not if it's a good idea if it's a good email story, address yes arjun s baran at gmail.com <laughs> okay there's a question there identify yourself first uh mera naam parag agrawal hai bahut achhi baat hai hindi mein boliye bas aur main booktainment company ka founder hu aur booktainment kya karte hain uh basically it's a hindi, marketplace hindi hindi aapne hindi mein shuru kiya abhi hindi mein boliye marketplace hai uh, seller aur buyer ke beech mein jisme uh, seller side pe uh, publishers hain authors hain screen writers hain literary agencies hain jinka content pitch bible ke form mein अवेलेबल है और बायर साइट पे प्रोडक्शन हाउसेज हैं और स्टूडियोज़ uh, हैं ओ टी टी प्लेटफॉर्म कितने लोग हैं आपके प्लेटफॉर्म के ऊपर हमारे प्लेटफॉर्म के ऊपर कंटेंट के फॉर्म में अगर देखा जाए तो पाँच हज़ार से ज़्यादा स्टोरीज हैं और uh, बानी जे एशिया भी हमारे साथ में ऑनबोर्डेड प्लेयर हैं सो एम एक्स प्लेयर है प्रोडक्शन हाउस में रेड चिलीज़ है सो so, कॉन्टेंट काफ़ी सारा है बायर्स भी काफ़ी सारा आपका है क्वेश्चन क्या है मेरा सर क्वेश्चन ये है कि जैसे अभी टीवी प्लस प्लस की बात हो रही है कि बहुत लंबे लॉन्ग फॉर्मेट शोज़ में भी जाएगा फिर हम इस इस तरफ एक तरफ ये बात भी हो रही है कि अटेंशन स्पैन बहुत कम हो रहा है 30 सेकंड 40 सेकंड्स में कम हो रहा है और आठ आठ एपिसोड की वेब सीरीज कोई नहीं देख रहा है वेब सीरीज मत कहिए ओरिजिनल कहिए ओरिजिनल हाँ ओरिजिनल्स नहीं देख रहा है तो मुझे ये नहीं समझ में आ रहा है कि जब आठ एपिसोड की वेब सीरीज कोई नहीं देख रहा है तो सौ एपिसोड का टीवी प्लस प्लस का कंटेंट कोई कैसे देख पाएगा ठीक है सही है क्या मेरे ख्याल में सही नहीं है कि आठ एपिसोड का आई आई थिंक देर इज मोस्ट थिंग अबाउट आई फॉरगेट द जेंड पराग पराग मुझे ऐसा लगता है ना ये आर दिस कंट्री इज अबाउट दिस एंड दैट इन मोस्ट ऑफ द थिंग्स सो वी डोंट एवर सो आप एक मैं एनोलॉजी लूँ आप जिस चीज़ को बोल रहे हो तो देर इज अ there is a chips that you can have as snacks and there is a full thali meal that you can have 
and there is different mind states that you have if you are probably you are waiting at a clinic when the doctor has asked you to wait for 10 minutes and you at 10 minutes probably at that you put your earphone on and you watch something probably but probably uh, a consumer later in the evening after he's done with dinner and wants to at his own or his or an own uh, uh, private time want to watch 2 3 hours of binge we've seen content on our service which is as long as 16 hours uh, being consumed in 2 days so the I, I am extremely encouraged with the interest with which audiences are lapping up good content. I think the question really is not the format. It is good. content that engages and content that doesn't engage. I don't think format can solve for engagement. Just because uh, you know a 50 episode becomes a 20 episode or 8 episode doesn't mean it will bring engagement. It is or even a 30 seconder will not like not every reel or a short video that you see you don't stay and watch the whole thing because even that goes through the same test of engagement so i would probably less rest the argument there that it's not really formats uh, being the central to this it's more whether the content engages or doesn't aapke prashna ka uttar mila aapko yes sir shukriya transition phase mein inhone kaha ki the playbook on digital Originals and digital content has not, has yet to be written, and they're experimenting still. That's what he said, and they're also trying to find the way in the maze of what Indian consumers want. Indian com consumers are also trying to understand what they should watch. Discovery is a problem. Recommendations are a problem. I watch one Spanish show, and I get every time I go, I get Spanish recommendations. Whether I want to watch Spanish at that time or not. No, but I think this whole TV Plus model is also catering to the fact that human beings basically are creatures of habit, right? So you want that comfort of being able to watch that one thing every day almost. So a point between which, which you don't have to use your brain yeah. because you know, okay, great. I know I've got, after, at dinner time, I have half an hour. Let's not try and find a new show every time because it's very difficult to find a new show which on, is what I was saying, on the boss. platform. Which is why that old habit of watching TV, Sare Aad Baje Anupama Aati Hai, Dekh Leta Ho. You know, so that TV Plus is going to cater to that. Which is going to work, in my opinion. Kone mein hai. Aap pehle puchiye yash. Main puch lu. Okay. So the question, anybody can answer, but specifically, I would like to ask uh, Amok sir, because uh, as a writer. Don't put him on the spot. No, no, no. It's it's. I've a, done it too much already. No, no. I'm not doing that. I won't ask for the email ID, sir. <laughs> so, so uh, no. What I was trying to understand. So as a writer and creator, like. Like I'm constantly working on uh, original web content that we are writing and it's a youth based show. But when we are trying to uh, talk to platforms, what is happening is they have these uh, now, you know, you have these fixed rosters that we, we will only do two youth centric shows or only two in the romance space. And then that roster gets set well in advance for the coming year. So when we approach, that's already done. And now in this day and age when content is changing so quickly, do you think that roster should be fixed or if it's good content, it should still be made? I, I don't know who gave you this perception of a roster. We don't... Uh, but I, at but least sir, I can speak yeah. about Basically, us. Basically, they're telling you, go home, yaar. Nahi chahiye tumara show. <laughs> they don't like the concept, indirectly. I, I honestly, I don't think, uh, I can't speak for other platforms, but definitely we don't uh, look at new ideas like that. It is a story, a story, and we are always in search for a, a new idea, a story, or a compelling story that has, that is something that is unique, but something that we believe customers will engage and connect with. So, uh, and even in, in most of my conversations with writers and some of our content partners, we, 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 we really not... We are clear on uh, the demographic or the audience that we want to create stories on, but we hardly we are not even prescriptive of genres because I it's not that we are briefing get us a romance show and get us a thriller and get us a horror and get me this and get me that. It is essentially because finally it's a passion-driven business. We we are not a story writer ourselves. So you, uh, if, if there is a writer who feels very strongly about a subject, we would rather have that passion come through in form of a story and see whether it fits with our uh, Basically, platform. my experience, in my experience, if somebody is telling you that they have their roster full, that means they don't like your concept. <laughs> Period. That, that may be a case. That and they are be being case. very, very polite with you and they are saying that our roster is full. Absolutely. But thank you so much, sir. At least we know that Mini won't be doing that. So 
that's a clarity that you've provided thank you okay last question before i get uh, you know blasted by other people on the panel hello everyone mera sawal amok ji se hai mera naam hai mithilesh bhagat i am a founder of tamasha ott platform uh बाहर इंटरनेशनल मार्केट में आजकल एक मिनी सीरीज चल रही है शॉर्ट फॉर्मेट में भी लाइक दो मिनट तीन मिनट की सीरीज चल रही है वर्टिकल फॉर्मेट में एज ए प्लेटफॉर्म क्या आप लोग भी उसको अडॉप्ट करना चाह रहे हैं या करेंगे सो एज ए प्लेटफॉर्म मैं जानना चाहता हूँ क्या आप लोग भी अडॉप्ट करना चाहते हैं या करेंगे Uh, sorry, I missed your name, uh, sir. Mithilesh Bhagat. Mithilesh, Mithilesh, uh, I've spent almost twenty years in TV, in and around TV, and last two years I've been um, actually last four five years I've been with Sony Live and then with uh, Amazon. Uh, I, I can tell you that it is a learning curve of another order altogether. So when you say I'm he keenly knowing when you say this this i'm hearing for the first time like he mentioned i had heard about it a few years back when uh, this attempt was made and did not but if it is something then obviously we will be keen to know if there are other ways to engage uh, customers obviously there is a as as many tv we focus on long form entertainment because we want to really get a, a lot of time from consumers and engage them for a longer period of time but finally the business is customer backwards right you you want to essentially cater to that customer if the story form if there is a compelling way to tell a story in that i i honestly don't know with my limited capability if there is a way to tell a very compelling story uh, in in a one and a half two minute uh, episodes but uh, like i said it's a it's a learning curve we are learning every at least i am learning new thing about how people are consuming what content is resonating because like i mentioned earlier and sorry just belaboring this point is that unlike us where you had journey of basic cable and premium cable and then ott came by uh, where you had single screen and uh, second screen at home or second tv at home in larger proportions we have largely been a single tv country for almost two decades and there that has had an impact on the kind of content that has been created on linear television for a long time now when suddenly you have digital as a platform where i can make a different show for you but a different show for rishi and can reach out through personalization it opens endless opportunities and to my mind we are at the just at the tip of iceberg on the kind of stories we can tell and kind of formats in which it can be told we just starting this out because it's just been while it's been 8 years of ott content being out is but it's just 8 years up uh, so he's open he's not saying no thank you to bolo yaar um yeah what i see all of the time is something which is entertaining and uh, you know safe kind of subjects is there no place for a film that is brave that breaks the rules that is in a way anti establishment but is the need of the day that you need to talk about it let's say i have written a screenplay on my husband cyrus mistry who is an award winning writer and it is uh, uh, it's ba- the, the backdrop is just against the demolition of the babri masjid that's just the backdrop the real story is a love story in fact it is a disturbed love story between a man and a woman it's just that the backdrop reflects his inner turmoil and the guy wants to be a writer and that's his struggle but when i tried to show this to producers they they kind of a uh, shy away from it and the response i get is that ma'am you should know the de- the times you are living in and i feel uh, because i know the times i'm living in that's why we need to talk about it you know okay i know i know i've had the same kind of dead silence before and i know just why thank you the may 20th elections in uh, bombay everyone <laughs> matdan Matadan karo yeah that's right and a big round of applause to all of these wonderful panelists yes thank you and so much and a big much. thank you to amok for allowing me to press his buttons thank you very much and thank you rishi thank you fuzz thank you arjun